What does a serial rack gear collector do when he's acquired many of the rare and classic pieces in the American history of making guitar rack gear? Yeah, what does he do? He goes international. <laughs> um, so this comes from another country. Not the first piece of gear. Uh, if you remember, uh, I shot it in a little bit of a video. There's a uh, LEG or LAG Spitfire back there. That was basically a European, uh, I think it's a French uh, preamp. But this one, a little more well known. Also, not from the US. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's a wreck. Ooh. <laughs> oh man. He knows who I am. He knows who I am. Let me read this. Mr. Torrin, thanks for your purchase. By the way, your collection is amazing. Thank you. Love your YouTube channel and Michael's too. Ah, he knows Nielsen. It took me some time to realize who you are. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy this preamp as much as I did and maybe we'll see a video of it. Oh yeah, here's, here's the beginning of your video. Uh, and P.S. you probably know, but the preamp is 230 volts. Yes. I have, uh, here's the big reveal. And what I bought was Brunetti. Mie? Mille? I don't know, I'm probably butchering that. Um, hand wired in Italy, so we went to Italian manufacturer. Uh, seen these for a while. There's like none in the US, they're all overseas. So at least the ones that I'm, I've seen. So I'm going with converting this guy, in the interim at least running the step down, but seeing what this guy is all about. Uh, there's a lot of people that will convert these to a, a three plus SC type of scenario. I don't think I will. And if I were to go do that, I'd buy another one. Because <laughs> Even though there's a lot of cool mods out there, there is something that's keeping them stock in their, in their you know, born on um, original form. Um, even if there's improvements to be made, I, I still think you gotta have a copy that is the way that it was designed originally. All right, so let's fast forward a bit. Uh, played the Brunetti using a uh, step-up transformer. This goes from 115, 120, up to 230, 240 volts. Uh, Loved it. Loved it so much I actually shared it with, and you'll see. Um, but this gets kind of old. This is big, it's bulky, it's heavy, and um, you can't be doing that for, for too long. So I decided I needed to convert the, the Brunetti from the 230, 240 volt down to the US voltage. And did some research. What I found actually is um, there's really two different styles of transformers that are most in most of these preamps. One's going to be the traditional kind of squarish, either I or H core um, style transformer. And uh, some of the more modern ones and the ones you find coming out of Europe are going to have uh, a toroid, which is kind of a circular style, style transformer. Uh, the main thing that I found, though, in looking at these is these are usually set for a specific voltage. So this one actually has a, has a multi-tap, but it's not a real multi-tap. It's um, two wires for 115, two wires for 125, depending on what kind of wall voltage you have here in the, in the States. Um, but I did find is most of these toroids have two primaries that are both 115 that you can wire in series to get your 230, 240 volts, which is, what I found in the Brunetti. So I'm going to show you um, how I converted that preamp over to US voltage with one of these. Here we go. All right, guys, we got the Brunetti on the bench. And we're going to do a voltage conversion on this guy. So if you read the transformer, you've got two different 115 volt taps, which you wire in series to make 230 volts. This is actually a 230 volt um, preamp. Got it in Europe, brought it over. But to convert it to 115, I just need a single one of the two primary taps. So when I say primary taps, black and, and blue here, this is, well, 
they consider it black and blue pair, black and blue pair. Each one is 115. If you tie the black to the blue of the next together and you solder them like here, you stack those two together and create a 230 volt tap. Uh, I'm going to reverse that actually. I'm going to go and make this a 115 volt tap. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these two. And then I'm going to go and um, pretty much take the black, <laughs> if I can get this out, uh, take the black and go to where the other black is. Um, because I understand how these go together, all I've really got to do is just separate those two and bring it back. So here we go. Unwrap. This black had to have been from the other pair. Yep, I can see that right there. Take a look. So I'm going to desolder this black right here and then put the other black. So that way it's we're on a single 115 volt pair rather than being two stacked pairs of 115 adding up 230. There we go. All right, so these guys are nicely wrapped. This is kind of sad that I'm doing this, but I don't foresee him going back across the pond again. So unwrap these. You've got, I've now got two different pairs, right? This black pair went to that black pair, this pair, or black and blue pair, and these two are together. So I'm going to twist these. I'm actually going to cut off the ends of this because you're not going to see the light of day. And then I'm going to, this, you might be laughing at me in this one, but I'm just going to re, re kind of cap the end of both of these with this heat shrink because I'm that way. This other black, I'm going to go and I'm going to wrap up just like it was before. I'm assuming this is done so that we get less, um, less noise. And then I'm going to go ahead, no, no, one, one less. I'm going to go ahead and solder this guy on to the on off switch. So in probably less than five minutes, I should have converted this guy to 115 volt preamp. Here's the pair unused primary that is in here. Wrap this guy back. Uh, one thing you got to remember to do: change the fuse because the fuse that's in there right now is made for a 230 volt as you can see right there 500 milliamp 250 milliamp so i'm gonna go ahead and take this guy apart i'm gonna add the right fuse to the equation here yep. 0.5 and the rpm there we go all right we have been converted now I am not going to sit there and just crank this guy up just because I think I am correct. I'm actually going to put it on a variac and I'm going to watch some voltages. So let's grab a power cable. Secondary voltage rating is 300 and let me read it again. Make sure I'm not misspeaking. God, I can't see it. Hold on. Written on this nice side here 280 volts. So I'm going to expect to see 280 volts come out. It's going to be AC um, across the two res. I believe the six. One in right there. Doing the wrong thing, which is having both hands in at the same time. And there's your 280 right there. So I have just converted this guy to 115. Um, and now we've got a US voltage Brunetti 
So hopefully I explained that pretty, pretty well about how to convert that over. Um, since I've done that, that mod, I've, I've got a couple more European preamps. I've got a couple right here. Um, Gainland, Van Wilden Gainland, and the uh, Climax here are both, well, they're both natively 230 volt, 240 volt uh, preamps. This one actually has a switch that lifts that jumper in between the two primary, primary uh, taps on the transformer. Um, this one does not, but I can see where that jumper is and I can take it out. So this guy was pretty easy to convert and this is going to happen just kind of like what I did with the Brunetti. So hopefully I kind of demystified a little bit uh, for you guys that are wanting to buy something that's found in Europe and bring it over. I uh, can't guarantee that they're all going to have the ability to do what I did on the Brunetti or what I'm going to do on, on this, this preamp. But, uh, but it's something to keep in mind. And uh, if you want to hear sound on the Bernetti, uh, Mr. Nielsen has a video. And I got to link it down in the description. Um, you can be able to see it and hear that one. He is, he is a master at making those things sound incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time. All right. This um, preamp comes from uh, all the way from Belgium. So, uh, multiple, oh, you know, when you do international shipping, you do have to have a three, three copies of the invoice. Uh, yeah, I do international shipping, so I know this. But I digress. Let's see what I got in the box. You know, one issue before I open this up, because this one reason, another reason why I'm opening this, not just to share with you guys, but to kind of cover myself. It came, but listen to that. You hear that? There is, there are, sorry, there are two things rattling around inside this box. <laughs> so I know something's loose. Question is, what is it? I'm gonna go on a limb right now. I don't know, hope for the best. Two tubes got jostled out of their sockets, rolling around inside this piece of rack here. That's my, that's my boat. We'll see, we'll see what it really is, but that's, that's what I'm hoping.